In May, we celebrate Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month, or AAPI Heritage Month. Quite a mouthful, I know. But what would you expect from a month that celebrates the influence of such a large group? AAPI is the fastest growing demographic in the country, consisting of Americans that can trace their ancestry to 40 Asian countries, over 25,000 separate islands, and 50 ethnic groups with more than 100 languages. So why are these very different cultures grouped together? Simply put, because of the government. Asian Americans, Pacific Islanders, and Native Hawaiians living in America were grouped together by the census, based primarily on the geographical location of their land of origin. The benefits of grouping together multiple cultures with different backgrounds and struggles is, well, debatable. For instance, the families of early Chinese immigrants of the 1800s face entirely different circumstances and struggles than the Southeast Asian immigrants that came to this country as refugees in the 1960s. And both of these cultures' journeys are very different from the Pacific Islander and Native Hawaiian experiences of historical colonization. So the term Asian American falls short when trying to encapsulate so many different countries, cultures, struggles, and journeys. That's why the name of the group and the month has evolved and will most likely continue to do so. So if you hear the terms AANHPI, APA, APIDA, or AAPI, or simply Asian American, they're all broadly referring to the larger Asian American, Pacific Island, and Native Hawaiian demographics of America, but not specifically to any one of the many, many cultures within the group. AAPI Heritage Month was first recognized under the Carter administration in 1978 as Pacific slash Asian American Heritage Week. Then in 1990, it was extended and renamed to Asian Dash Pacific American Heritage Month. Most recently in 2021, it was reaffirmed by President Biden as Asian American, Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander Heritage Month. When celebrating AAPI culture and achievements, acknowledge that it is never safe to assume different cultures can be melded together. Every culture is unique in its own way and everyone deserves to be recognized for their own culture. Not all Pacific Islander dances should be called hula. Not all martial arts are karate. And when you go out and enjoy the newest poke place, understand that it is a Hawaiian dish and not sushi in a bowl. Be aware that not all AAPI people understand the same languages, or that you should greet an Asian American with ni hao or konnichiwa. A perfectly good hello will suffice, even if they don't understand English. So what can we do better? Be aware of the generalizations, racial biases, or stereotypes you find yourself falling for, even if those stereotypes might be considered positive. The myth of the model minority and most recently the crazy rich Asian stereotype erases differences between individuals and ignores diverse struggles among cultural groups in our population. These stereotypes downplay challenges like discrimination, language barriers, economic inequality, bullying, and more faced by many in our community to this day. Most importantly, understand that AAPI individuals are more than happy to share knowledge about their cultures. Continue to ask questions and be open to learning new concepts and ideas from others. Engage, respect, and enjoy the influence of the AAPI communities of America all year, but especially this May.